Like, Disney really doesn't seem to understand how much of a negative effect they have on children of color. Also, I really, really hate how a lot of the media tries to play child stars off as bad when they really aren't. A lot of them are just troubled and really, really sad people. And it just goes to show that so many people enjoy dehumanizing celebrities, especially when they're child stars. Now, if you come to this video thinking that you're going to get me to laugh at Kiki about her being on drugs, you're not. You did not do all that healing and self-care and learning your self-worth just to go back to the same person that hurt you. Ignore that text. Hey y'all, it's Harry and I'm back with another video. Ooh, why if- What? Why are y'all all the way over here? No, move. These intros are getting worse and worse. Hey y'all, it's Harry and I'm back with another video. Welcome to the pirate ship, Harry Hook's pirate ship. I'm the captain, you are not my first mate. Did you get that? Did you get that? Did you get that through your brain? Great, okay, good. What gave me the idea to make this video is that back in December, it was announced that the Lizzie McGuire reboot was canceled. And hallelujah, hallelujah, I'm actually happy that it was canceled because, um, did we need it? Was this necessary? The only way I'm really here for a lot of these reboots of kids shows, if it's the new generation, why do I need to see these people again? I already know their stories. I like how it was left to my imagination of what happened with their lives because Raven's home really, really hurt me. But we're going to talk about Raven later. Today we are here to talk about Lizzie McGuire. There's a lot of issues that surround this show, but this one right here is one that I just wanted to highlight today. But before we get into that, you guys already know, um, I gotta do my little self-promotion. Like I said, if you don't like my self-promotion, you can just always skip. What is she wearing today? She's wearing her school hoodie. School hoodie. And I'm wearing my own lip gloss. I'm wearing one of my products today from my line, Harry by Harryana Hook. I am starting my own merch line because many of you guys have been asking me for merch a lot lately. And I've been wanting to do some, but I'm just trying to figure out what out here screams me. What out here screams Harry. So I have put together an accessory line that I cannot wait to launch in February. I'm so excited. Please go follow my shop on Instagram at Harryana Hook. And then... Subscribe to our mailing list at harryannahook.com. We will be launching shop soon. I cannot wait. And yeah, next thing you know, we're moving on. I'm really trying to limit how much I do these. So please go support The Progenies. The Progenies is a Descendants fan series that I and a few others are currently in the process of making where we are giving the Descendants characters a better story and a very, in like, better diversity because it has issues. It has lots of issues. And we're going to try to fix that as much as we can with what we can do. So please go support The Progenies. We have already have our pilot done and we have our Instagram page up. So I will have those two linked down below. As I mentioned earlier, there's like a lot of mess that went on behind the scenes of Lizzie McGuire. And not because of all the mess that went on with the original show's run, I wasn't surprised that the reboot was canceled. Like that was no shocker to me whatsoever. I really just couldn't see Lizzie McGuire anymore in the future. But because they were having so many issues with the reboot, I couldn't help but think... What was all going on with them when they filmed the original series? So, you know, I went through the internet. I went down the dark rabbit hole of Disney drama again. And the stuff that I found out was atrocious, okay? It was atrocious. Not only was it atrocious, it was just very, very sad. I found out so much stuff about Hilary Duff that I did not know. That will be coming next week. Here we are talking about Lelaine today. You guys really seem to like when I make videos about past Nickelodeon and Disney stars. And yes, I do enjoy making them, even though they are a bit hard on me because I truly do feel for all these people that I speak about, whether if I was a fan of them or not. It's also really interesting because a lot of people that I speak about, a lot of people genuinely don't know. Like, it's so strange how a lot of this information is put out there for us. But if you're just not genuinely looking up looking it up or thinking about this person or whatnot people won't know because a lot of people didn't know about what happened with alexa nicholas until i spoke about it and that still blows my mind 
Like, people didn't even know that Jerry Springer was defended by the Cyrus during that time period. It's really strange to me. When I make these videos, I want to show that celebrities, especially child stars that grow up, they're people just like us. They just are in the public eye. Like, all that glitters is not gold. Also, I really, really hate how a lot of the media tries to play child stars off as bad when they really aren't. A lot of them are just troubled and really, really sad people. Like, they're just children that are hurt by an industry. That's the worst thing about child stars. It's really not an environment for children to be in all that much, but that's another topic for another discussion. Like I said, we are going to be talking about Lil Lane today. Now, before I go any further, I have to make an apology. I mispronounced Lil Lane's name really, really bad in one of my past videos, and I truly am sorry for that. I was told her name was pronounced like that. I don't know why I believed that my entire life. That's how I was just told her name was pronounced. And when you guys corrected me, I truly do appreciate that. So thank you guys for telling me that. And I really could have just did my research and hear her pronounce her name herself. So I take full responsibility for that. I apologize. Who is Lelaine? Lelaine is an Asian American actor and singer. She is of Filipino descent and she is best known for playing Miranda Sanchez, the best friend on Lizzie McGuire. And you don't know what Lizzie McGuire is. Lizzie McGuire is a Disney Channel series that everybody claims to have watched, but nobody can barely tell you what happened in the show. And I feel like more people remember the Lizzie McGuire movie more than they remember the actual series. But y'all, it's some good stuff in there. It's some good stuff in there. Y'all should actually go back and rewatch it. It's about like White Proud Family, if that makes sense. White Proud Family, White Proud Family. Miranda is the best friend of the main character on the show, Lizzie McGuire, who is played by Hilary Duff. And I'm pretty sure all of you guys know who Hilary Duff is. She falls into that circle that includes Jessica Simpson, Ashley Simpson, Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, you know, that circle. But the thing about Lizzie McGuire is that Lizzie McGuire is actually a lot more enjoyable now as an adult than it is as a kid. It's kind of like the brace face effect, in my opinion, where I watch the show now that I'm an adult and I have experienced middle school. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm getting so much secondhand embarrassment because I can see myself in these characters and it's making me annoyed. Lelaine spoke about how her time was on Disney where... I say Disney because most of her acting credits have come from Disney and a lot of her work has been associated with Disney. She stated how they wanted her to look more white and not as ethnic as she is, which is really, really strange because I couldn't even tell she was Filipina when I was younger. And I look back and watch Lizzie McGuire and it's so hard for me to believe that she is because I was just not seeing it. Like now that I've seen pictures of her as an adult, yes, I can see it right there but the pictures of her when she's younger and things that i've seen her in when she was younger it's just really really hard to tell and she even said that herself that she does not look filipina in her childhood pictures like when she was on Lizzie mcguire she wasn't even playing a filipina girl i find that really really strange and it's also a really, really sad reason why she just goes by Lelaine and not her full name. Her full name is Lelaine Vergara Paris. She had been told to drop her last name because it sounded too... These are hard words, by the way. She said that they told her it sounded too Hispanic. That's exactly what she said. Those were her words. Disney, why? Why? That's all I ask. Why do you guys do the things that you do? Why do you do the things that you do? You literally crush people's dreams. Okay? Like, I have a lot of issues with the way Disney treats their actors so many times. And it's always something new every day. Like, you literally hurt a child's identity because you thought it wouldn't make you money. Like, I thought it was really, really strange. I think that's really, really weird. Like, Disney really doesn't seem to understand how much of a negative effect they have on children of color. And a part of me feels like they do believe that they know what they're doing and they just don't care. Also, it's pretty known that she wasn't in the Lizzie McGuire movie, nor was she in the last four episodes of production of season two of Lizzie McGuire, which was the last season. Disney shows back then used to only go on for about two seasons and they had more episodes in each. So that's why the second season was the last season. Now, this isn't anything bad. I'm glad to know because I thought it was just something really bad where it turns out she was just touring with Radio Disney at the time. That's why she wasn't in um 
the remaining four episodes of production and she wasn't in the movie. So I'm glad to know that there wasn't anything bad with her in that sense. But after she departed from Lizzie McGuire, she did state that she did not keep in touch with her co-workers and she was just really, really lonely and she just was in a really, really bad place in her life. Three years later, it was revealed to the public that she had been arrested for meth. Now, if you come to this video thinking that you're going to get me to laugh at Kiki about her being on drugs, you're not. You're not. One thing about me, Hariana, one thing that we do on this pirate ship is that we don't judge people for having drug problems or drug addictions or anything like that. If you have an issue with that, you can go walk the plank. I'm sorry. I don't tolerate any jokes about people being on drugs and things like that. It just don't sit right with me. It's not funny to me. If your sense of humor just depends on making fun of things that people just got themselves into and they can't handle and they get out of control, you can go because I don't find it funny. I see so many people making jokes about her being on this drug and it is disturbing. It is not funny and it just goes to show that so many people enjoy dehumanizing celebrities especially when they're child stars. Like y'all did it to Demi, y'all did it to Miley, and y'all did it to Lelaine and I just am not here for it. I'm just not here for it either. Like even when they get into car accidents or DUIs and things like that like with Mitchell Musso and Debbie Ryan there are always people making jokes about these things and I'm just like can you guys please try not to make jokes about this because I'm like one someone's life was at stake when it comes to things like that and two we don't know these people we don't know these people so why are you making a joke about something that is so serious I just don't get it it's just not ringing a bell it's just not clicking to me like many times when people get hooked on drugs it's because there is something going on in their life and they just need to feel something or they just want something to distract them from everything that's going on we don't know why she was going on that she did make it clear that she was going through things at the time and she just wasn't happy and whatever but that's her business that's her stuff right there and it's none of our concern it's none of our business if she doesn't want to come out publicly and talk about it herself she does not and after it had been revealed to the public that she had gotten arrested for meth, she just kind of faded away from the um, spotlight, which I don't blame her. Like I said, she was in the spotlight since she was a small girl. And now that she was an adult and she everybody knows her now for this one thing, I don't blame her for just not wanting to be in the spotlight up whatsoever. I completely understand, girl. I completely understand. You deserve it. You deserve a good, happy life on your own. And there's, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that because the entertainment industry is not for everybody. Like, y'all wonder why it is so many child stars out here that you see all the time in the past shows that you used to watch and you look them up and you see that they haven't done anything since they were about 15, 16, 17, or even 18 years old. Or when they got to their young adult stage, they just stopped completely. Many of them were put in this industry when they were in a position where they really couldn't make decisions for themselves because children really can't make decisions for themselves especially if they're being forced to work like what kid wants to work what kid wants to work please tell me the truth what kid wants to have a job please like they're put in this they can't make decisions for their own selves everybody's speaking for them so when a lot of them can get out they get out they're set for life they made a lot of money off residuals and whatever and they are set for life look at the freaking Austin twins so what is Lelaine up to now? She has been in a few projects after her incident, but after that, she just really kind of faded from the limelight. And I see that she is slowly starting to come back as I looked at a few of her credits that she has things that have been there in the more recent years. And she did make a nice a little appearance on Christy Carlson Romero's YouTube channel, which I love so, so much. Christy Carlson Romero, if you don't know, she's the voice of Kim Possible in the series Kim Possible. And she's also Ren in Even Stevens. Highly recommend Even Stevens. Even Stevens is white excellence. I will go ahead and tell y'all that. Even Stevens is white excellence. I really need to re-watch that show because I really just want to make a video about this show. White excellence. She has a show on her YouTube channel where she usually just brings in childhood stars from both Nick and Disney. And she would bring them in to cook with her. And in the episode that she did with Lelaine, they made spaghetti. So I thought it was really, really cute. Really, really cute. Highly recommend it. You guys just want some nice little wholesome content. Christy Carlson Romero. It's just really, really good vibes over there. And I truly do love her. 
and her Instagram is private. I looked and I saw that a few of my mutuals are following her and I do remember when her account was public because I did find it by accident one day. I was just looking and I was like, oh, Miranda from Lizzie McGuire is doing nice. She's so pretty and then I just kind of went on about my business. But yeah, her Instagram account is private and I really don't blame her because like I said, it doesn't surprise me that she did this because she did fade away from the limelight for a while and nobody really kind of saw her again until she was on Christy Carlson Romero's YouTube channel. So it does not surprise me that her Instagram account is private. Totally fine, totally up to her. That is her decision because especially in this day and age, when it comes to social media and being a celebrity, you really don't really have that much privacy, especially if you are a child star because there are so many people that are constantly just looking you up to see what you're up to and just want to bother you and whatever. I completely understand. I completely understand. I just find it a little strange because a lot of celebrities usually don't make their Instagram accounts private unless they did something problematic or whatnot but she's not problematic whatsoever really really nice woman and I just hope she has some peace in her life right now after all that she's been through dealing with Disney and her problems with her health and things like that I truly just hope that she's okay I don't wish any bad on her whatsoever she truly is great great actor I really love Miranda Miranda kind of Reminds me of Maria from Braceface in a sense. I don't know. Did anybody else get that connection? If you think Miranda and Maria are like kin to each other, comment down below. Comment down below. I really am genuinely curious to know how you guys feel about that. But yes, that's what happened to Lelaine. And I, like I said, I just truly wish the best for this woman. I don't, no bad vibes over here for me to hurt. No bad vibes from over here to me to hurt. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. And yeah, there are more videos like this to come in the future. Like I said, I really do like making these. And you guys seem to enjoy them too. Like a lot of like my videos that get the most attention and the most like discussion popping and things like that are my videos where I talk about former Disney and Nickelodeon stars. So yes, more of those are to come. Like I said, please go subscribe to harianahook.com. Please go follow Harriana Hook on YouTube. Don't forget to follow my personal Instagram too. I'll have that linked after the video and it's linked down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to follow me on Tumblr. Don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon if you can. You see, I love Patreon at the beginning of the intro to slow it down. But yeah, I'm still gonna put that in at the end. I love you guys. Guys, thank you guys so so much and yes good night have a good day depending on the time of when you're watching i don't know goodbye Powerpuff Girls are just here to stay.